Good morning. I'm Sierra. And I'm Tua. And this, and this is, is TCNN. TCNN. So this week is homecoming and everybody's talking about it. And throughout the past few weeks, people have been brainstorming how to come up with the most elaborate ask. Here's Katie with that story. With homecoming tomorrow, these past weeks have been filled with lots of homecoming asks. Let's see what the boys have been up to. I asked my girlfriend Katie Skyler. I asked um, for some help from some of like our friends. And her favorite like artist is Dan and Shay, so I like, incorporate some of their songs. On this I asked Sydney Thompson to homecoming. I put of all the fish in the sea, will you go to homecoming with me? And then I gave her a real fish in a bowl. I'm excited for homecoming because all the people will be dressed up and hang out with everyone and, and hang out with my date. Drake Palm asked me to homecoming. I walked into my math class and he was there with a sign and flowers. I'm super excited for homecoming to hang out with my friends and have a good time. We can't wait to see all the couples tomorrow night. Now back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Katie. Looks like homecoming is going to be exciting this year. Speaking of homecoming, people sure are showing a lot of school spirit. Here's Josh with that story. During the football season this year, we've seen many students come out and show their spirit. Not only that, also encourage other students to show theirs. But the real question is, who has the most school spirit? I think I have the most school spirit because uh, at all the football games, I go all out, I wear crazy uh, costumes, and I lead the student section in a lot of cheers. Uh, probably my favorite cheer being the Eagle. Typically, like during during like halftime and other quarters, I'm super interactive with others, and I like encourage them to stand up and participate in all the cheers, and just get into the game and participate. I think I have the most school spirit because I just get really into like all the spirit days and like I go to a lot of games because like I'm a cheerleader so I kind of have to but I'm always super enthusiastic in games and I'm really loud. I think I just kind of, I'm really passionate about everything so I don't think it's like I have to be like oh come on and do this. I feel like when people see you doing it then it's like they want to do it too. Honestly I think I have the most school spirit just because I go all out for the dress days every single day and I encourage others to be a good tri citizen. By going all out, that shows that I'm really excited about what I'm doing and excited about all the energy that's happening at this school. So I encourage others by telling them to dress up and getting them involved. Thanks for everybody for voting on the TCNN Instagram. And with that, Heat and Webb received the most amount of votes from most school spirit. So back to you guys. Thanks, Josh. It's been really great seeing everyone dressed up this week. If you want to show your school spirit, come out to the homecoming game tonight. The players have been preparing the whole season for this one game. Here's Noah with that story. With the homecoming game tonight, let's take a deep dive into the tri City football team and see what they've been doing recently. In the second game, I fractured my elbow. I tried to catch my fall when I was getting tackled and my elbow turned the wrong way. And that put me out for like three weeks. When you have as many injuries as we had and, and key positions and cramping issues and all those kind of things, you have to get very creative and assume someone's gonna get hurt or assume someone's gonna go down and always practice that. I've been having to get the ball a lot more and run the ball more and it hasn't affected my play calling uh it affected the team definitely we will definitely be able to do a lot more with our starting running back and our starting quarterback but the way i'm trying to call these plays and set them up uh, is for anyone to run them and if we run them perfectly we'll we'll gain yards every single day. good hearing from all of them about their prep for the game tonight we should come out and support eagles Today we have Josiah Sangali in the studio to talk about he, how he and his team have prepared for the game. Alright guys, so I'm here with Josiah, our football's team captain. And Josiah, how are you guys preparing for the game this weekend? Um, we're really just trying to pick up the pace during practice and uh, you know, just go out there and play hard. Sweet. And uh, as a team captain, how are you helping your team out this week? I'm um, just trying to... Uh, elevate their spirits and uh, try to pump them up for the games. Awesome. And overall, is the team nervous or excited for this big homecoming game? Uh, overall, we're really excited and uh, we might come out with a big win. Nice. Hope you do. Back to you guys. 
So much is going on this weekend. It'll be nice to have a quieter week next week. Here's Keaton with the announcement. Good morning, Eagles. Here are this week's announcements. Juniors and seniors, CSF and NHS applications are due today to the College and Career Center, so make sure you turn those in. Seniors, please check your email frequently as Mrs. Castro is going to be sending you a lot of updates. We have a pep rally today at 155 in the gym. Tonight, Tri-City has their homecoming football game against Escondido Charter. The homecoming court will be announced at halftime, and the student section will have a theme of red zone. So make sure you, you all show up in red. Homecoming is tomorrow. It will begin at 6.30 and go to 9.30 in the quad. I look forward to seeing you all there. That's it for this week. Back to you guys. That's all we have for this week. We'll see you next time on, on TCNN. TCNN.